So I chose to come to the Fab School because a buddy of mine actually recommended it from personal experience that he had here. Um, he went through the whole course, recommended it highly, and I followed his footsteps and I hope to work alongside with him. I chose metal fabrication and welding because I grew up in the garage, basically building whatever I could with my dad, so I figured why not try to build something I'm passionate about. I've always kind of liked building things, and uh, there's so many things you can build with metal, so I thought, you know, this would be a great tool to have, and uh, if I want to get into that industry, this is going to give me that extra step. Being a racer and being able to build and learn and how to build these cars is fascinating to me. Just enjoy hands-on work, uh, building things, designing things, creating my own pieces. I think just the art that comes in metal fabrication was what brought me to it. I've always been pretty interested with cars and stuff like that. Before this, I was going to go to automotive school, but uh, I ended up choosing the fab school. I wasn't a huge fan of the whole normal college experience, and I couldn't see myself having a desk job. So I went to work in an auto shop for like seven months and after that I kind of realized I wanted to work with cars and I saw the money that fabrication and welding could bring and my end to the car industry so I decided the Fab School would be a good option for me. My dream career would be owning my own shop in my backyard, building rolling chassis out of it in motorcycles. I love to work with my hands and I like to be in the dirt, go off road. I have a badass truck that when it breaks I need to fix it. Um, and that transitioned into something that I'd love to do that I can actually make money doing. I want to take this career towards the off-road fabrication side. Um, that and truck customization. Just being a fabricator building trophy trucks and class one cars and ten cars. They maybe still be doing the side by sides, who knows. At the current job I got hired at, which is R3 Fabrication, they do basically anything we've done here in the course. I've actually gone in previously and I've worked a day there already and I built a roll cage. So I think the biggest thing is going into a fabrication shop, you need to know all the tools, and we've learned basically everything here. Uh, after graduation, I plan on doing the composites course um, with all the carbon fiber. That would be super cool to learn how to lay all different kinds of materials like that. And then I also want to do the DDM design class because why build anything if you don't get to design it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna continue the education in the composites course, and uh, I've seen what things like the aerospace industry, all the stuff made out of the rockets, airplanes, all that kind of stuff, and if I wanna get into that industry, it'd be a great thing to learn, and uh, you know how to repair it, how to build stuff, how to all the molds and all that. Uh, favorite project has to be the roll cage. The roll cage, I really enjoyed that. Just learning how to build a roll cage properly I'd say like the roll cage. I really enjoyed the roll cage, uh, mainly because that was quite a bit of a challenge. Um, I think we had 11 tubes going into one junction. My favorite project is probably the roll cage, because in a real shop environment, you can work as a team, and it's crucial to be able to work well with others, and that's a key example of showing you what it's going to be like. I would say the, the most information I would take from a project would be either the motorcycle or the roll cage project. Because like I said, I like off-road and I feel like I'll be able to apply the skills and knowledge that I learned from the roll cage and the bending and the notching from all that and apply it to something in the future. Definitely the motorcycle chassis. Um, I had the most fun with that. We were just able to put in our own input and our personal design to it. Um, my favorite project was the flower and the bead rolling just because I could be artistic. My favorite project, I would say, was the bowl and the bowl stand because that was the first time that our instructors weren't saying, follow these rules, you know, follow these blueprints. The school helps me a lot in my racing because I learned how to design shots, how to properly design suspension, and be able to put bolts in the right spot and like make sure they don't break, what over tightening does everything. The biggest thing is going into a fabrication shop, you need to know all the tools and we've learned basically everything here. And notching I'd say is the number one like kind of priority in fabrication, especially in like the off-road industry. Getting into geometry of suspension, like that was really cool for me. Blueprint reading, um, like the precision measuring stuff. Some advice that I could give someone that's starting today is to stick to it and to listen to your instructors because they can definitely uh, point you in the right path. 
A couple of the key things that I learned here at the Fab School is not taking your mistakes to heart. They're necessary to progress. Like Enrique said, don't take your mistakes too seriously and just try to learn from them. Enjoy it all. It goes by really quickly and it's all a lot of fun. Patience. Patience is key. I don't want to thank all the instructors, every single one. I think I've actually interacted with everyone. I had a great time with all of them. They all taught me individually in different ways and I thought it was a really cool experience. I want to say thank you to Russ, Jacob, Ronnie, and Richard. Shout out Russ Winkler. You're the man. Um, I mean, all the instructors here are great. Not a single one of them has let me down. So I just want to say thank you to all of them. I really want to thank all my instructors, the numerous ones that I had. Um, for all their years of experience that they inputted me with and their motivation to keep on going and keep pushing towards the graduation. Everyone here helps out whether they're your instructor or not, but uh, Ronnie is just crazy intelligent and it's definitely cool getting to work with him a lot and learning even just a small portion of what he knows. I'd like to shout out Russ. He was awesome. Um, good luck and thank you to Richard, Jacob, Ronnie, all those guys, they're so cool. You can go around and ask any instructor out there and they'll have an awesome answer for you. They'd love to help you. Um, thank you to everybody, it was a lot of fun. I'd like to thank my instructors. They did a great job of guiding me through the process and I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you to the instructors. Um, they really helped a lot. All you guys are badass. Um, thank you for all the help. Russ, miss ya. Jake, awesome ideas. Ronnie. Thank you so much for the knowledge and uh, Richard, dude, killing it. And also a huge thank you to Troy for uh, everything he does for the students here and giving us all this opportunity to learn to go into the fields that we all care about. What's up guys? How's it going? Thought you'd never see me again, huh? Ah, surprise! Today's your lucky day. Not only do you get to see my ugly face again, it's your graduation day. Congratulations, you guys. Each and every one of you, man. I'm proud of you. Even though I haven't been there the last couple months, you know, you guys are... You know, one of the best classes I've ever had. Um, I say that about a lot of classes, right? But anyways, no, you guys truly are. Uh, we're there from the beginning. Sadly, you know, something came up, a new adventure in my life, and I couldn't pass it up. You guys are going to have that also in your life as soon as you graduate. Hopefully, you learned a lot from the school, learned a lot from all the instructors you had, me being one of them. I'm sure Ronnie and uh, Quiet Boy Richard have taken care of you. Richard, when are you going to do a live interview, man? It's time. It's time today. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, guys, it's your good day. Enjoy it. Wish I could be there, but I'm still in high blithe, waiting for somebody to show up, and then we're going to be on our way back to West Yellowstone, where it's about 70 degrees instead of 110. But anyways, you guys, um, reach for the star stars, you know. Um, it's up to you guys to go as far as you want to go. Learn the learn the tools and the trade that you learned at the school, and it will take you a long ways. You know, you might not find that one job that you're looking for right now. Most of you guys are pretty young. Keep working hard. Keep your head down, and it will come. Promise you, it will come. Again, congratulations, you guys. Follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you guys on Instagram. I got some still cool stuff coming up on my new adventures. See, I haven't been in front of the class in a while. I can't even talk, right? Anyways, out here in this nice, beautiful desert. Um, peace out, guys. Good luck in the future. Congrats again. See you guys soon. Later.